You know, cybersecurity is such a big problem. We want to make sure that you're prepared and you're not getting caught in a sticky situation. We turn to our friend Rod Bueller at Salt Lake Community College, who is a professor there. Rod, hi, and welcome to the show. Hi, Jenny. Thanks for having me on. Of course. So talk to me, how big of a problem is cybersecurity? It's huge in the state of Utah. We're the third worst state in the union as far as scams really? go. Yeah, yeah, the FBI says that the, each individual that scammed loses about $10,000. Oh my gosh, wow. And it you hear it time and time again, yet people keep making those mistakes. So you wrote a great blog with seven tips. We're going to talk about four of them today. So what's the first thing we need to do to beware of cybersecurity? The first thing you can do today is go freeze your credit. This doesn't freeze your credit cards or your ability to spend your money, but it keeps, it freezes the credit so that when hackers get a hold of your information and ID, they can't go create new credit cards in your name or new loans and stuff like that. It freezes your credit. It's something that we can have all the time. Just have it frozen and we can still go about our day normal. That's not a bad idea. Right. If you need to unfreeze it because you're buying a new house or car, that's easy to do. And then refreeze it. Got it. Okay, so there's tip number one. How about tip number two? Tip number two is start all communications. So if you're having a communication, whether it be a phone or text or email or anything, and they say, hey, there's a problem here. You need to press here. or You need to give us your information. You didn't start that communication. Don't participate. If you think there's a problem with your bank or with your tax return, you hang up the phone or delete the email and then go investigate with what you know is the correct people. So yep. don't trust anybody. Yep. That one's always a good rule of thumb. Make sure that you are starting the conversation. Okay. How about tip number three? Tip number three is never use your debit card. Your yep. debit card, when the hackers steal your credit card number, they're taking money right out of your bank. You need that to make your you know, mortgage and food and that kind of stuff. Use a credit card. The credit card is the bank's money. Let them worry about getting it back. So use a credit card and then pay it off every month. And that will raise smart. your credit score as well. Yeah, that's smart. Let the bank deal with it and we don't have to worry about it nearly as much. Right. Now, finally, tip number four, what is it? I use two-factor authentication on everything. That proves you're you and not the hacker trying to get into your accounts. So if you set that up with Amazon and Google and all the other accounts, they'll send you a text while you're trying to log in. And you have to prove you're you by typing in that little code back into the, as you're logging on. Yeah, it's it's so important to do these things these days. And, you know, Rod, before we let you go, tell us about some of the classes that you teach at SLCC. Yeah, we teach cybersecurity class. We teach ethical hacking. That may seem like an oxymoron, but we actually teach our students how to hack so they can stop the hackers. Oh. And then we all, oh, go ahead. No, you're, that, that just surprised me. I It's a pretty cool class. I like it. Yeah, it is. The other one we teach is digital forensics. Uh, we work with the FBI forensics lab and go down there on a field trip. We see where we can catch hackers in all aspects, whether they're hacking your phone or whether they're hacking your computer in all your life. So many great things that's, uh, that you guys offer at Salt Lake Community College. That's why we always like chatting with you. If they want to, you know, check out more of your classes, maybe read your blog, where can they go on your website? You can go to the SLCC blogs. Spot. So just type Google SLCC blog spot and you'll find all of the information about the college. And then you can search on cybersecurity and you'll see all my seven lists. If you're interested in, in enrolling in cybersecurity, go to slcc.edu and search on cybersecurity. Fantastic. Rod, thanks for, so much for being with us today. Thank you, Jenny. Always happy to be with you.